One type of vehicle in Rodania is called Reda. This name for light vehicle is also found among the Greeks and later among the Romans. It is obvious that both of them adopted this name, but since when and what does it mean? Theophilus Latour says that the Celtic word rare means run, to race. Celtic word redek means to run, to race. And uh, red means race. And that uh, this Celtic word gave root to English, English word readiness. As well as that in Syriac language there is a word redah, which means to go. In a Serbian language there is a word rista for race. Ristati, to race, and ristar, a participant of race or an athletic competitor. Thus, we have the same root for the same term, and we can conclude that the Greek word reda originally meant a race car. In modern Breton, the word ker means town or a city. This word has the same meaning as Serbian word var, varos, varosica. In the East, we find Serbian var as kar. And instead of vari, we find kari. In Assyrian writings, Babylon is mentioned as karduniash. In fact, it was Serbian vardun or varduniash. For the Bretons, ker is the same as kar in the East, and both are different var. Vadal translates the kar from the fortress. Ragozin says that the kar is a fortress and mentions in Assyria kar sharukin. Kar Nineb, Dur Sharukin, and Dur Yakin. One river in southern Rodania is called Var, just like Vardar in Macedonia, in, and that name has remained unchanged until today. One department, as the Frushka administrative unit is called, is named after the river Var. In Celts, the name, ma, ma, the name Dur is often found as the part of the names of the settled places. In Assyria there is also often Dur or Duru as the part of the name of the places. Dur is also among the old Serbs was one type of fortress. Andre Paro translates the Assyrian Duru Danu on English language with strong wall, that is, as for the difference of var, strong city or palace, Dur was only a fort, or more correctly, fortress, more often a rampant or moat with water. Dura often means water fortification or fortification on water. Several rivers of Rodania have names that begins with Dur, such as Durantia, Durans, Durentia in province, Druma, Druna in Daphini, Duria, Doer, and Aturus, Adur, between Bigor and Spain, Durius, Duero in Spain, Duris, Dur in Ireland. Dor in England and Duria in Italy. Theophilus Latour writes in Breton Dur, Dur, Den and translated into Latin from Aqua Profunda, Deep Water. Indeed, Deep Water is a great obstacle and has the role of a fortress. That w w the word Dur really signifies something hard and also testified by the name of steel in Celtic countries. Dur, another known in ingredient of the name in Celts, usually the ending of the name is Dun and Don, whose meaning, according to Peluti, is hill. Theophilus Latour translates Dun or Don with deep. As examples, he cites the names of the rivers Danube, Don, the cities of Don Leroy on Oron in province of Bari, Dunum. Ledon, a city of Lorraine in Meuse, Aberdeen, Aberdon or Don in Scotland, 
Pteridon, a city in Mesopotamia at the mount of the Tigris in Euphrates, Rugidon in Pannonia, Singidon or Singidunum, and so on. Pelotis' translation is more accurate because the word dune gave rise to the word dune for the sand embankment or the embankment. Pelotia translates dune Pelutia translate, tra translates dur from door, as this word is found in both the Breton and in extended meaning marks a door or a gate. This tells us that the word dur originated from door and that it originally meant a fortified gate, entrance. Another word is often found in Celts as a final part of the name, usually in the names of cities, that is Briga. This word is translated by the Celts from Colin, which means hill in Frushkan language. Markel says, Briga first meant a hill and then a fortified hill. Dunum is also a hill and Dun means fortification. Henri Drabois de Jubinville translates the Celtic name Briga from Breg and compares it to the old Slavic word Breg, which means hill. According to the way the inhabitants of Rodania wore it, the Romans distinguished three areas. Gallia Comata, they called those who wore long feathers. Gallia Bracata was the name given to those who wore ch chakshis, as and as they uh, as they say the same as in the Sarmatians, these were the first chakshirs of horsemen, and a third area below the Alps was called Gallia Togata, that is after the custom of toga. Since the Old Testament does not speak of the land of Born, except since the Old Testament does not speak of the land of Rodania, except only its mention. Mede believes that it is because this country was far from Palestine, outside of Jewish contact, co contact and knowledge. Alfred Morris says, The Celtic names of the place are spared from area north of the Mount of Danube and on the left bank of this river all the way to its source in the border of Gaul. They mark the path that the Celts followed to enter our country, Rodania. It is obvious that they went through Pannonia, Northern Illyria, Noricum and Vindelica. The same writer recalls the similarity of characters between the Celts, Trachans and Geti. He mentions Celtic tribes in Germania, Lemovici, Gotina and Estina, which is also mentioned by Tacitus. These tribes are dominated by the Sueba and the Sarmatians, that is the Surba. These were in fact Serbian tribes. The Lemovici are also in Rodania and Mori says that it is difficult to distinguish between them. Mori adds that the Goths spoke a Gaelic dialect. The Estonians had the boar as a symbol of their language that is close to the Breton, then points out the great similarity between the Pannonians and the Celts. Julius says that the Rodania was really divided into three parts, Belgium, Aquitaine and those areas that they call Celtic and we Gaul. They differ in language, institutions and laws. The river Garumna Garona, divides the Celts and Aquitaine and the Matron Marna and Sekana Seina, divide the Celts and Belgi. Julius finding the Rutenians in Rodania, in the areas that are today called Ruerk or Zhevodan, attracts a lot of attention. Meduri or Medari lived in the area of modern Basmorian. A special chapter consists of Boi or Boyari, which were located in the area between the Loire and Allier. Let's immediately say that Boi are ancestors of modern Czechs after whom their country was called Bohemia or Bohemia. The colors the boy are said to have been the most belligerent of all Gala of all Gauls. That's probably why they called them boy because of their combativeness. 
boy means fight on, or battle on Serbian. Their fortress city was called Gorgobina. Weakened by frequent wars, they joined another tribe. Part of the tribe of Boya moved to Italy and settled along, around Bologna. Pelugi says, Boi, which were inhabited between Danube and the Drava, around the river Raba and Lake Paizo, they were defeated and suppressed by the god king Boirebista. It is a real miracle that the fate of old Boi did not attract more attention from their descendants, the modern Czechs. Strabon gives us the names of true tribes from Rodania who settled in Anatolia, around Angora, Ankara, and they are Trokmi and Tolstobogi. The other says that the Gauls used large shields of a scooter with pictures of animals on them, which means with coats of arms. The Gauls made a drink from barley, which they called Jitos, which was beer. The mixture of this beer and honey was called Korma. Pelutia says that this beer in Illyria was called Sab Sabaya or Zobaya, but that in Egypt, when the Macedonians ruled, this beer was also called Jitos. Then Diodorus says that the Gauls wore pegs in their hands, which was characteristic of the Dardanians, so that that part of the clothes was no longer usable. 